In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software free worksheet under Infinite Algebra 1 using trigonometry to find angle measures. Our directions for numbers 1 through 6 are to find each angle measure to the nearest degree. For number 1, we have the tangent of angle A, so the tangent of A is equal to 2.0503. So since we're finding the angle measure to the nearest degree, we're going to have to isolate this A because that's the angle. So in order to do that, we need to find a way to essentially counteract or cancel out this tangent. So if we take the inverse tangent or the arc tangent of the tangent of A, whatever we do to the left, we do to the right. So we're going to take the inverse tangent or the arc tan of 2.0503. So taking the inverse tangent of the tangent of A will leave us with just A on the left. And we'll enter this into the calculator. If you have a calculator handy, you can enter that in. Or you can just go to Google Calculator. And we're doing the inverse tan. But before we do that, make sure your calculator is set to degree mode, not radians, since we're finding the angle to the nearest degree. And we're going to do the arc tangent, which is the inverse. So click the inverse, so the arctan, and we're going to type in 2.0503. That's going to give us 63.999, which will round to 64 degrees. So the measure of angle A is approximately 64 degrees. Let's go on to number two. Just as we use the inverse of tangent, we can also use the inverse of the cosine to isolate this variable z, which is our angle. So the inverse cosine of the cosine of z, whatever we do to the left, we do to the right. So we're going to take the inverse cosine of 0 0.1219. We'll be left with z on the left, and that's going to be equal to inverse cosine of 0.1219 will give us 82.99, which rounds to 83 degrees. So the measure of angle Z is 83 degrees. In number three, we have the tangent of Y is equal to 0 0.6494. We're going to take the inverse tangent of both sides So the inverse tangent of the tangent of y is simply y, and that's going to be equal to the inverse tangent of 0 0.6494, which gives us 32.999, which rounds to 33. So the measure of angle y is 33 degrees. And number four, we have the sine of u equal to 0 0.8746. Just like with tangent and cosine, we're going to take the inverse sine in order to isolate the u. Whatever we do to the left, we do to the right, or vice versa, if the sine was on the other side. We'll be left with u on the left, and then the inverse sine of 0 0.8746. 8746 will give us 60.99, which is 61 degrees. Number five, we have the cosine of V is equal to 0 0.6820. So we're going to take the inverse cosine of the cosine of V, and we're going to take the inverse cosine of the 0 0.6820. We'll be left with V on the left hand side of our equation, and that angle is going to be equal to the inverse cosine of 0 0.6820, which is 46.99, so 47 degrees. And the last problem in this grouping, number six. We have the sine of C, so we're going to take the inverse sine. So the arc sine of the sine of C is going to be equal to the inverse sine 
of 0 0.2756. We'll be left with C on the left, and then we just have to enter the right side into our calculator. Inverse sine of 0.2756 will give us 15.99, which is approximately 16 degrees. Now for the rest of these problems, our directions are to find the measure of the indicated angle to the nearest degree. And we're going to find that angle using sine, cosine, and tangent. So we're going to use so, ka, toa to help us remember which function we're using. So in this first problem, number seven, we're trying to find the measure of this angle here. Let's just go ahead and call this x. So we're finding the measure of angle x, and we're given what's opposite x, and we're also given the hypotenuse. So we have our O and we have our H, our opposite and our hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and use sine. So we have the sine of x is equal to opposite, which is 51, over hypotenuse, which is 55. So we have the sine of x is equal to 51 over 55. But since we're solving for x, we're going to need to isolate that x. And in order to do so, we're going to use the same methods that we used in 1 through 6 with the inverse sine in order to find what that angle is equivalent to. So we're going to take the inverse sine of both sides. So that'll leave us with x on the left-hand side, which is the variable we're using to represent our angle. And making sure our calculator is in degree mode, we're going to type in the inverse sine of 51 divided by 55, and that's going to give us 68.01. So when we round that, we'll get 68 degrees for the measure of the angle x. Number eight, let's go ahead and use a different variable. This time, let's use A. So the angle we're trying to solve for is this angle A. We're giving the opposite, and we're also given the hypotenuse. So looking back, so Katoa, we're going to use sine again because we're giving the opposite and the hypotenuse. So here's our O and H for opposite and hypotenuse. So we're going to have that that sine of angle A is equal to the opposite side, which is 19, over the hypotenuse, which is 27. Then we're going to have to isolate this A. And in order to do so, we're going to do the arc sine, or the inverse sine. So the inverse sine of the sine of A is going to leave us with A on the left-hand side. And then we'll just type this into our calculator. The inverse sine of 19 over 27. That's going to leave us with 44.7, which rounds to 45 degrees. For the measure of angle A in number 8. In number 9, let's go ahead and name this angle Y. Again, we're given the opposite side, and we're also given the hypotenuse, since the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So we're going to use sine again, so the sine of y equals the opposite, which is 34, over the length of the hypotenuse, which is 55. Then we're going to take the inverse sine of the left-hand side, and whatever we do to the left, we need to do to the right. So we're going to take the inverse sine of the right side as well. The inverse sine of 34 over 55, making sure in parentheses, since we're taking the inverse sine of that quantity, and that's going to be equal to 38.18, which is approximately 38 degrees. So y equals 38 degrees. So the measure of the indicated angle is 38 degrees. I'll go ahead and do one more problem, problem number 10. 
So please remember to click that subscribe button and also go ahead and like this video. And in the next video, I'll do eight more problems and then finish up with the last eight in a third video. So this worksheet is going to be split into three separate videos. But for now, let's finish up with number 10. So we're looking at this angle, let's call this angle X, and we're given the opposite of X, so the side that's opposite X, and we're also given the side that's opposite the right angle, so that's going to be the hypotenuse. Again, remembering so katoa, we're giving the O and the H, so we're going to use sine. The sine of angle X is equal to the opposite, which is 14, over the hypotenuse, which is 24. Take the inverse sine of both sides, to get that x is equal to the inverse sine of 14 over 24, which is 35.6, which rounds to 36. So x is approximately 36 degrees. And as always, if you have any questions or you need a more in-depth explanation, go to my tutorial section or feel free to comment below.